Before this video starts, I just wanted to announce that we are doing a competition that we're running in this video only and over on our Discord. Please be sure to join our Discord if you haven't yet, even if you're going to reply to this competition in this video. Link is in the description below. But the competition is this. There is this photo on the screen right here from Arrow. Please be sure to tell us in the comments down below what episode this is and what's going on in the scene, the winner will be able to join our monthly member Zoom call in a couple of weeks. So enter in the comments down below by giving us your answer. But for now, please be sure to enjoy the video. Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about some new set photos and an interview that was released just the other day. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the interview is coming from The Talk, which airs on CBS. This was an interview with Jesse L. Martin. I'm sure some of you guys saw it recently, but basically he teases the return of Tom Kavanagh and Reverse Flash. So that's going to be in the link in the description below, along with Canada Graphs' blog, because we're going to be going through some of his photos in today's video. And I'll also leave a link to his Twitter. You guys can follow and stay up to date on his blog and his Twitter if you guys want to be in the know about what's happening in Vancouver in terms of Arrowverse sets. But first things first, we're going to go over the interview with Jesse L. Martin and basically he says a few words about The Flash and what's coming next. We're going to specifically focus in on his comments about Tom Kavanagh. So he goes, everybody who is a fan of Tom Kavanagh and his reverse Flash, get ready. And he repeats it and says, get ready. And it was a really nice tease. But the first time I saw this interview, like a week ago, I was kind of thinking about it. I was like, is he actually referring to Tom coming back as reverse Flash this season? And then what Canada Grass posted a couple of days ago and Pagey brought up something very valid on Twitter which we're going to be discussing. I'm pretty sure we're going to see the return of Tom Kavanagh and his reverse flash and we're going to explain everything as we go on throughout the whole video because we need to go into Canada Graphs' section as well. But it's just great seeing Jesse L. Martin being open about this because there's been some interviews, you know, at the start of the season and during Armageddon about like who would come next, who would be the next villain. We've been theorizing about it. Recently, people have been saying maybe Eddie Thorne is going to become the villain, considering that Rick Cosnett, who plays Eddie, just signed like a new deal and he's going to be recurring for like at least three episodes or maybe more. And so it got people thinking, what happens if he turns into Cobalt Blue and he's the villain of the season? But then, if we go over to Canada Graphs' blog, there is this photo. Now, it's very intriguing. At first, you look at it like as the whole photo and you're like, okay, what's going on here? What's so interesting? But if you look closer, and this was pointed out by Pagey, I don't think any of us would have spotted it. So shout out to Pagey for actually spotting it. But there is a guy who is standing next to Grant and he's got a folder in his arms. Now this folder has a specific comic book cover on it. If you guys remember in the past, there have been many photos with people holding covers and they had comic book covers on them. So this is the new cover for season eight. This is what they're gonna be bringing into every set and that's just, you know, their opening page of their folder, which teases what's about to happen in the season. Now, this is where Pagey comes in, so he was actually able to find out that this was from the cover of The Flash issue 757, which was part of a bigger storyline titled The Legion of Zoom. Now, I'm sure many of you guys read this issue, but it's kind of hard to tell from that photo because it's so zoomed out. So, I definitely recognized it, but I had no idea, so shout out to Pagey for actually finding it once again. But let's move on to talk about what this could mean for The Flash Season 8. So the Legion of Zoom storyline was a recent comic book storyline from Joshua Williamson where Reverse Flash formed a new team of villains similar to like the Legion of Doom but he called it the Legion of Zoom and it was basically comprised of loads of the Flash's rogues from different eras from around the comics and basically it was all of them they all teamed up to try and get revenge on the Flash basically for him foiling their plans so many times 
So with all of them teaming up, they want to destroy Barry's life. And even though it's a rogue storyline, it's led by Reverse Flash. So at the end of the day, he is in charge of the team. He formed them, so it's his storyline. So what does this mean with the guy on set having that folder with the cover of the Flash issue 757? So we can presume, like it's happened in the past, that they are taking elements from the story. You have to remember, they never take the entire story. It's very rare that they do. But apart from all of the rogues teaming up and Reverse Flash leading the team to try and take down Barry, which is pretty much the story every season, like a villain comes along to Central City, they try and enact their plans, but Team Flash is able to stop them and it causes all of these people to have sort of grudges against the Flash and Barry himself. Are we thinking that we're going to get this storyline and that Reverse Flash, played by Tom Cavanaugh, is going to return. Because you have to remember Reverse Flash right now doesn't have powers. He's locked away at Argus. That was the last time that we saw him at the end of Armageddon. But maybe from his prison in Argus, he's orchestrating things similar to what he did in Season 5 where you had Nora. And funnily enough, in this storyline, it does include the Tornado Twins. And who do we have coming back next episode? the Tornado Twins, well, you know, a version of them, they're not really twins, but they are Barry and Iris' kids from the future, so Bart and Nora are returning, and that's going to be a huge thing. And so with them being included, there is an instant link to this cover and these specific issues with the Tornado Twins being there, and they were turned evil, so it wasn't just them doing it like willy-nilly, like, yeah, I'm gonna join Reverse Flash and try and take down my dad. So is something similar to that gonna happen? Are they gonna turn evil? What's gonna happen with them? And also this story in the comics has a lot to do with timeline and time travel and different things like that because the villains come from different points in the timeline. And so with this story that's being set up currently in the next couple of episodes, with Nora and Bart having changed the timeline, could one of the big repercussions of that and what happened in Armageddon with Barry changing the timeline be that all of these villains are somehow brought back to our present day and they are all going after him and this is just part of Reverse Slash's big overarching plans. Maybe he planned to get caught and basically have all of these different villains come up and do his dirty work for him so that he is detached but he is still in control of everything and trying to take over Barry's life. Because at the end of the day, you have to realize Reverse Flash's entire sole mission is to destroy Barry's life. And that's what he does in this storyline with Legion of Zoom. Now, who is in the Legion of Zoom? So, there is lots of different members from Barry's rogues gallery. And I'm going to just tell you guys the ones that have been in the show before. Because there is so many and I don't really want to list them all off. Because I don't think they're going to get every single character. That would be crazy. Like, they would have to go through so much to make it all happen. But the ones that were in the show in the past are Bloodwork, Captain Cold, Grodd, Trickster, The Turtle, Golden Glider, Amunet Black, The Thinker, Abracadabra, The Top, Gerda, and The Tornado Twins. Along with the team's leader, Reverse Flash, aka Professor Zoom. And yes, the story is called The Legion of Zoom. Could Zoom return if they're going to do a kind of story like that, but give it the show's twist, which could involve Zoom more rather than Reverse Flash. Although with Jesse L. Martin teasing that Tom Cavanaugh and his Reverse Flash are going to return, you would have to kind of automatically assume that he is still in charge of this storyline that they are going down. But there's always a chance that Teddy Sears comes back because, as you know, He's been pretty vocal that he wants to return as Zoom, and the last time we saw Zoom was in the 100th episode, so it's been a while, and fans would totally lose their minds if Zoom returned. So imagine if it was the Legion of Zoom, but led by Zoom instead of Reverse Flash. That would be crazy. I would love that. So those are some of my theories in regards to this Legion of Zoom storyline that they are supposedly going down. And I feel pretty confident about it, only because, you know, the cover is there. They have clearly referenced this issue when coming up with the season. Otherwise, why on earth would they have that specific cover? They could have just put anything there. It doesn't need to be that specific. So, what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments down below. 
but we're going to go over to Canada Graphs' blog and read out some of the stuff that went down on the set because there was also a different villain on set and he looks kind of like the Atom but evil and like a discounted version I guess you could call it. So this is how he described the day. So the first scene of the day had a pair of Central City Police officers at the Central City Savings and Loans confronting a currently unknown actor dressed like a cross between a stormtrooper, a Nordic sniper, and a discount atom. They draw their guns on him, and he reacts by putting his bags he seemingly got from the bank and walks over and throws something, which he later found out was a full-on police car, so he's very strong, this guy. And he does this one-handed with almost no effort, and the cops scatter, and the villain goes back to his bags. A bit later, the three main cast for the day come to work on the scene, that being Grant Gustin as The Flash, Danielle Nicolette as Cecile, and Kayla Compton as Allegra. And so they show up to do a scene with the three of them confronting this mystery villain. And from what Canada Graphs could tell is that Allegra tries to do something to him with her powers, which sends her flying back onto the ground, which you can see in this photo right here, and she's kind of knocked out cold. And the villain then confronts Cecile, and Cecile seems to go through a variety of emotions, including a point where she grabs her head as if she's having a headache. This is something that regularly occurs with Cecile pretty much any time she tries to take down a villain. She is confronted by like an overwhelming amount of emotions, which basically stop her in her tracks. And that's the way that she's unable to stop villains normally, so this is just like a normal thing. And in terms of what Barry is doing, so Barry eventually then zips in, while Cecile helps Allegra up, and Allegra seems to need Cecile to help hold her up, while Barry taps his ear as if he's contacting someone, probably at Star Labs, then the scene ends. So it seems like they just quickly run in, Barry gets them, they run away, and they'll deal with this villain later on in the episode. But like you saw as I was describing what Canada Graphs' blog was saying, you can see in the photos right here, this guy, the Discount Atom is what we'll call him, is a new villain, probably a villain of the week. I don't think this guy's gonna be around much, but he's kind of dressed in his white camouflage, and he's got all of this gear all on him. It definitely looks like a discounted version of the Atom. It's like he's supposed to have all this high-tech gear on him, but really, it just looks very plasticky and like very fake. So, I don't know what's the deal with him, but he does have superpowers, he's very strong, he's able to flip an entire police car. So, Barry's definitely going to have a lot of trouble trying to take him down, and not even with the help of Allegra and Cecile. Although Cecile isn't like the most powerful superhero, they aren't able to properly stop him. And so then we move on, there is a cool photo here of Grant in his flash suit. And I just have to say it's really nice that we continue to get set photos and the continuing to work while we have this long, long break. I mean, it's still not coming back till March, we're on the 11th of February right now. It feels like forever since we had the flash. So I'm very excited to get these small teasers, especially with this Legion of Zoom stuff because now we can start to theorize about like what exactly is going to be going down because there's been so many questions like there's been many teasers as to who's going to be the villain who's going to show up you know eddie's going to be sticking around but what is eddie's true intention why is he going to have these different versions of himself and also why is running raymond coming back there are all these questions and now we kind of get the idea of what story they're going for and it definitely has a lot to do with timeline changes and I don't know at what point, you know, the Tornado Twins, Bart and Nora are going to zip out of there. But definitely at the start, when we return with new episodes, we're going to be dealing with them. And you have to remember at the point where they're filming right now, I'm not sure what episode they're on. But they filmed those Bart and Nora episodes a long time ago. So they've definitely done a lot in the meantime. So here is the photo of Cecile and Allegra. This is obviously between takes. And they are here next to Barry and also the new villain. And this is one last final photo with Allegra smack bang on the ground. And Cecile tries to help her up. So that's about it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. But for now, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. 
and also remember in the comments below tell us what episode did this happen in and what is happening in this photo in order to be entered into our monthly competition and the winner will be able to join us in our monthly member zoom call in a couple of weeks so for now thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.